before you jump into the video, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. What's going on, guys? <clears throat> Arid Lords here after, <laughs> what, like 10, 11 days of not doing a video? Um, there has been Walking Dead news, but um, I kind of wanted to consolidate it. I didn't want to do it all at once. Um, obviously, people are still in... They're still kind of dropping off in waves. I've seen this uh, d d dissidence, if I could choose the right word, uh, for The Walking Dead, mainly because of what's going on with Andrew Lincoln leaving, uh, what they did to Carl last season. Obviously, some people have been dropping off the show ever since The Saviors came, came on and Negan came on. Uh, we've talked about this in multiple vlogs before, but... Um, I just felt maybe I could give you guys a little bit of a break. I know there are other Walking Dead YouTubers out there, some of which I follow, who are uploading similar type of content, who are following this news more closely than I am. Like, as soon as the news gets announced, they have a freaking video up. Um, obviously, I have, you know, other jobs, 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 and responsibilities. Um... And things that keep me from that. Uh, but as soon, you know, I I came home from work a few minutes ago and said, you know what, I want to upload a video about um, about The Walking Dead. I saw this news while I was at work. Uh, you know, I flipped open my phone and I saw this, and I was super excited because there was only one. There was only one more listing um, for an for an actor to come on board that I was really waiting for for this show. Um, now, in case you guys didn't know, and I'm going to get all these names for you, um, I'm talking about the casting calls for The Walking Dead. Um, I don't know why I searched Walker. Um, so they announced that Cassidy McClin McClincy is going to be uh, Lydia, the daughter of Alpha. Um, if we want to get a picture of her... Um, so, which is, uh, I'm going to pull this up here because, and of course, shout outs to comicbook.com for the footage. I mean, not really going to use the video footage, but um, I guess we could just make this a little bit bigger. Uh, make it a bit bigger so you guys can see it. Um, so there she is right there. Um, in the comics, she's she has blonde hair. Uh, I just want to say that for the record. So, I mean... It's okay. Brunettes are fine. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, brunettes are fine. Um, she was actually... She was... I didn't watch this movie, but I guess it's been getting a lot of attention. Uh, the movie Love, Simon. Uh, it's about a... It's a, it's a movie about a um, homosexual couple, but I guess she's, she's involved. Uh, she's a character in that film. Um, so that was one of the notable things that she's from, like, recently that's been very big in the media. Um... So that's pretty cool. Again, the only thing about this is that um, her character really comes about because of her interest in Carl. Um, this isn't even a spoiler because, well, I guess I should have two spoiler warnings. Spoiler for the comic and spoiler for the show. In terms of spoiler for the show, yes, we all know that Carl's dead. So, spoiler for the comic, he can't hook up with Lydia. In the comics, they actually, I think they, yeah, they, I mean, it's not... It's not drawn, but I think they do actually um, fuck off screen. Um, she full on asks him if he's ever done the deed before, and he says no. Um, kind of unfortunate that Carl dies of <laughs> he dies of version in the show, um, unless him and Enid were doing something that we weren't aware of. But as far as that, I mean, he had his first kiss in season seven, um, but other than that, um, you know. <laughs> I uh, didn't really see much. Um, the the other thing is, uh, so who is this character? Who is is Lydia going to grow attached to? The only male teenage character that you can really put is is Henry. He's the only person, and now that he's grown up a little bit more, maybe, but he's still kind of like 13, 14, 15 years old. Like that's kind of young. Like you don't want. You know, it's okay if, like, teenagers late into their teens, like 16, 17... No, even 16 is pushing it. Like, 17, 18, the legal age, for them to be flirting with the idea of sex and that stuff. But, I mean, it's, if, you get, if you get younger than that, I mean, it gets a little weird. I mean, I know this is the zombie apocalypse, and there's no rules anymore in terms of, you know, minors and sex and stuff. But, um, 
still, I, it's it's a little weird. But um, uh, yeah, he was famously killed off. Um, and performer said previously the show still intent. Scott Gimple said previously the show still intends to adapt Carl's post-war storylines, which would be divided up and given to other still surviving characters on the show. So one big thing about this is that my theory goes to waste. My theory about Lydia possibly being a male and doing a gender swap and then Judith possibly has relations with this character that goes into the Whisperer story arc. That theory is dead now because Lydia is still going to be a girl. They're going to adapt her just blonde to brunette. That's the only change as far as I can see. Um... And so that's about it. That's about it. And she's most likely going to be hooking up with Henry as long as they make sure that Henry is a bit older. I did see, I mean, we talked about this, that there's two time jumps. There's the one time jump uh, when we come back in the season nine premiere. And then there's the second time jump. I Supposedly, as the Spoiling Dead said months ago, that's like five or, five or so years. So if we do that then we would have an older Henry that maybe would be around the legal age to get into some type of relationship with Lydia uh, of that sense. Um, we're, go we're committed to keep telling the stories from the comic. Yes, it's going to be different. Yes, Negan Run the Dakar was a big part of the story, especially in the world changes, but it's usually we do... Yeah, again, like, again, the whole Carl thing fucks so many things, like Carl going to visit Negan in prison, Carl's relationship with Lydia... He's got a lot of big moments um, after the war, and now he doesn't. Um, again, we've, we've talked about that at nauseum, and yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. But um, <clears throat> so the casting call that was actually announced today. So the casting call for Lydia was, or the casting announcement. I keep saying casting call. The casting announcement for Lydia was a few days ago. So within the span of the same weeks, I was thinking, I was like, Alpha, Lydia, and Beta are the three big uh, Whisperer characters. Like, they're the big ones. Like, everyone else is just henchmen uh, and super and soldiers. Um, and so I was like, well, they got to announce Beta soon. And they finally did Ryan Hurst from Sons of Anarchy, which is kind of funny because Jeff Kober uh, was also from Sons of Anarchy. And if you'll recall, Jeff Kober played Joe. Um... Uh, famously, Bowman's a Bowman. You can't even see my face because I was blocking it the whole time. <laughs> um, if you remember the guy that Rick rips his throat out with his teeth, yeah, that was Jeff Kober. He played one of the claim, the 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 uh, the lead claimer back in season four. So another Sons of Anarchy alum, uh, Ryan Hurst comes to screen. He's gonna be Beta. Him and Jeffrey Dean Morgan had a lot of witty banter on Twitter, which I thought was amazing because one scene I really want adapted from the comics to the show is the one-on-one -on -one fight between Beta and Negan, where Negan, he gets, again, brief spoiler, but he gets Lucille back very briefly and he uses it to fight Beta in a very epic one-on-one -on -one fight. Beta has these big long knives and Negan's swearing at him, calling him names and they clash and it's pretty epic. Um, at least how it's drawn in the comics. Uh, there's a lot of drama, and it's a big war, uh, part of the Whisperer War, so I'm interested. Uh, even when Negan first meets Beta, he's calling him names, witty banter, doesn't care. Beta's very serious, and he's a big hulking brute. Ryan Hurst is 6'4", so I believe he'll be able to tower over Negan. I mean, you need someone who's tall. So I think they, they got it. They got it. Um, so, Louise, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Um... Hearst is most likely alluding to the fact that both Negan and Beta are major villains, and the fact that it's Negan that gives that that gives Beta rule over the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a spoiler. Um, I don't know if they're gonna do that in the show. That's that that, that if they reenact the comics, the storyline of the Whisperers. If they do that line by line, granted, I really want to see Negan interacting with Alpha. I think that'll be some of the funniest shit imaginable. Um, but um. We shall see. What the fuck? What are these pictures? Oh, are these from the... I think these were... These are from the... the Fear of the Walking Dead. Um, so let's get a picture of this guy up here. Because I just have... Um, the fuck? So... Ryan... Her... Images. 
Uh, he's got a ginormous beard. I don't think he's going to have this for the show because... So yeah, it's right here. Here's a here's a side-by-side -side picture. Uh, right here. So, uh... Hey, yep. Yep, doodles. I'm getting messages from my friends. They can't shut the fuck up. Um... So yeah, uh, you can see... I gotta get out of this page. There you go. Um, so there he is. There's Ryan Hurst. Um... He is Jolly Green, as Negan calls him, Beta. Uh, and so we have Samantha Morton as Alpha, um, Cassidy McClinley as uh, Lydia, and Ryan Hurst as Beta. So there we go. The Whisperer cast has been announced. And pretty much, I'm trying to think if there's any other characters from the comics that haven't been adapted to the show. Now, you can say, oh, well, how about all the new characters from the Commonwealth? We need to see if the show gets to that point, you know? Depending on how Season 9 is received, we need to see if the show can get to the point of the Commonwealth. Um, and to be fair, all of the Commonwealth characters are fairly new. I haven't really become attached to them at all. I'm not... To be fair, I'm not really interested in the Commonwealth characters. Um, that Just, you know, Pamela. Pamela Milton. Um... What the hell? Is, I don't even know his name. The African American, like the bodyguard, he's like the commander of the soldiers. Um, um, there is one character who's kind of like a Saul Goodman kind of guy. He like onboards people. I guess he's kind of cool. I don't, you know. I just the the after this casting, because I was thinking to myself, like once the whisperers are cast, those were really all of the characters that I was waiting. Like in my mind, I was like, I really want to know who they choose for Negan, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. And then I was like, okay, now once the Negan arc is completed, I really want to see who they do for the Whisperers. Because they're like the next big villain group that moves on, uh, that has some really cool interactions. I think it's it's one it's another really cool arc in the comics that should be adapted to the show. So now all of the, the all of the characters for the Whisperers are cast. So in my, so I'm just like, well, then like we have you can literally do comic and character for nearly every single character. Granted, there are some char comic book characters that never get adapted, but, um, um, yeah, eventually that's just gonna be, uh, that's just gonna be something that they do later on for the show. Um, sorry, I don't know, my Facebook group is fucking blowing up. I gotta see what the hell's going on. I, friends are going bizarre. It's a fucking Tuesday, and they're going absolutely fucking crazy right now. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, so co really cool casting call. Um, so um, yeah, I, I think it's going to be really, really, really cool um, that we get to see Beta, we get to see, out we're, I mean, I'm visualizing it. Like now, I don't have to imagine the comic book version, I can visualize it. This was the same thing when Dwight, um, when um, Negan, when they were cast, as I was saying, it built up that same type of anticipation. Now, because I'm, I'm just going to say, I this is driving me fucking nuts. How the fuck do I turn this off? It's my... I, I, I can't do it right now. Anyway, um... Anyway, anyway, um... Because of Andrew Lincoln leaving, because of Rick Grimes, um... I'm just going to say, like, uh, do we have any anticipation? Like, I need to ask you guys. Do we have any anticipation for um, for this season? Do we have any anticipation for this season? Do we have any? Like, do we care? Do we care that Ryan Hurst was cast as, as Beta? Do we care that we have Lydia, that we have Alpha, that we have these characters? Because I remember the buzz. I remember when Jeffrey D. Morgan was cast as Negan back three years ago. The internet went insane. They were like, oh my god. Like, their minds just stopped working. My mind did too. I was like, oh my god. This is, the, this is what I was waiting for. I literally... Like, I think the show was building towards that. That was, like, the absolute pinnacle of the show. Um, season 6 finale, season 7 premiere, episode, issue 100 of the comics. Like, that was the pinnacle that the show has been building towards. And I really think that because ever since, the, it just seems to have declined in terms of uh, fan interest and feedback and just a general interest in the show. That seems to be the general consensus 
but I remember that anticipation. But I don't feel like I'm excited now because I get to see this casting, but I don't feel that in terms of um from you guys, like in terms of the show. Like like do are we excited for this for the for these castings? Um like I really want to know. Um leave your comments below um cuz for me like it was just really cool to see Jeffrey D Morgan and Ryan Hurst on Twitter uh going at it and it's it's making me think of how these characters are going to interact in an episode and that excites me. And I like that the actors are still super passionate and enjoy that. And I hate the fact that just because Andrew Lincoln's leaving that he couldn't stay with the show that we're now in this doom and gloom mode and peril. I just hate it. And I, I want to get through this half of the season. I want to see what they do with Rick. Do they kill him? Does he wander off into the sunset? Does he go on a helicopter and go try to fucking cure the zombie apocalypse and returns four seasons later? What the, like? Just tell me what is going on because we already had Andrew Lincoln let the cat out of the bag at San Diego Comic Con because the internet was going insane. Just, just get me through this half of the season, and I, we got to we got to take it from there because the speculation is just ridiculous. That's why I don't like making too many vlogs because I it puts me on edge every time. I don't like to talk about it because I feel like the show is at a state of. Do like just like Endgame, like the show could evaporate and explode, um, at any given moment, at any given moment, just because of the casting here. It really could. Um, I'm sorry, not the casting. Andrew Lincoln leaving, let the cast leaving. Um, I just don't see how it can continue, man. Um, you know, again, Daryl being the main character. Well, Norman Reed has shot those rumors down. So who the hell is it gonna be? Who the fuck is it going to be okay i don't really know who it can be because you can't just bebop around and go to random fucking characters like fear the walking dead the walking dead for me was always about rick freaking grimes yes there were episodes where he wasn't in it they focused on other characters but i was okay with that because i said okay well they're gonna get to rick in the next episode of the episode after that this is all backstory so that it relates to rick and the general greater story um and if you if in season eight, he was in every single. I think he was in every single episode of season eight. Just about, yeah. There was at least one scene with Rick in it in season eight. Every single episode of season eight. So, you know, he 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 played his heart out in that season, and just. I just you know again I I, I can't I can't go into it. I have like a hundred vlogs of me talking about this topic. Um. I'm happy about this casting. I think Ryan Hurst, he's got a cool face. I listened to him in a po uh, an interview he did for Sons of Anarchy. He's got a nice gruff voice for Beta. That's how I kind of envisioned Beta being. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the casting. Do you care about the casting? Um, because that, again, that influences how many vlogs I put out and some of the things about The Walking Dead uh, just in general. So let me know. Thanks, guys, for watching. Peace out and um, cool news.